Greetings my esteemed subscribers. Today I want to talk a bit about cold showers because I have previously recommended you to take them but um, I must actually admit to a mistake I made when making those videos and that is in regards to hypertrophy, the gaining of muscle. So uh, basically there is a study which you see before you which stipulates that post-exercise cold water immersion attenuates acute anabolic signaling and long-term adaptations in muscle to strength training and attenuates means following reduce the force effect or value of so now you have learned a new word as well probably i had to google it actually to be perfectly honest so anyway, we can look at the abstract here, the key points. Cold water immersion is a popular strategy to recover from exercise. However, whether regular cold water immersion influences muscle adaptations to strength training is not well understood. We compared the effects of cold water immersion and active recovery on changes in muscle mass and strength after 12 weeks of strength training. We also examined the effects of these two treatments on hypertrophy signaling pathways and satellite cell activity in skeletal muscle after acute strength exercise. Third point, cold water immersions attenuated long-term gains in muscle mass and strength. So that is the main thing I want to get to in this particular video. I will repeat, cold water immersion attenuated long-term gains in muscle mass and strength. It also blunted the activation of key proteins and satellite cells in skeletal muscle up to two days after strength exercise. And the last point. Individuals who use strength training to improve athletic performance, recover from injury or maintain their health should therefore reconsider whether to use cold water immersion as an adjuvant to their training. So, I uh, don't know why I did not mention this before, but I thought better late than never. Something to keep in mind here as well is that these small things is not what is going to make you strong or muscular. What will make you strong and muscular is progressive overload over a long period of time. So if you look one year ahead, you have to increase your lifts, your your five repetitions max in your bench press, you have to increase that with 10 or 20 kg, depending on how new you are in the gym. So instead of focusing on these sort of smaller things that uh, you know, might increase or decrease your hypertrophy levels, this might increase your testosterone or that might decrease your testosterone. What is important is to continuously get stronger every day hopefully or at least every week in the gym that is how you get strong and uh, big and muscular but uh, if you want to optimize exactly everything you could cut out cold showers i still like cold showers and i've been taking them for over a year actually i've started to mix it up a bit now though but in the morning it is a very nice way to get a good start a good fresh start of the morning so it definitely has its benefits but if you're out to optimize muscle gains it might be an idea to not place your cold showers after a session in the temple of iron that being said what makes you strong and muscular is dependent upon your progression in the gym so if you want to get strong and muscular you have to get continuously stronger at least if you are a natural so I just thought to share that with you all and I hope you have a great rest of your day. XOXO, boom.